as you may know, early voting started a week ago. And there are some new things voters need to think about because of the photo identification law. Pro News 7's Janice Yu has an update on early voting. Janice? Lisa, there has been a bit of buzz around this election because it's the first statewide election since the voter ID law was passed. But election officials say things have been going smoothly. Early voting has been open for a week now. Both Potter and Randall counties say the turnout has been higher than previous years. The numbers are up considerably. It's almost twice as many as we had in 2007, 9, and 11 at this time. And mail ballots are up more than significantly. Potter County has passed the 1,000 mark. But I went back and compared it to 2011, which would have been a comparable election, and they ended up with um, almost 1,300 total. We still have another week of early voting to go, plus election days. The highly anticipated problems regarding photo ID haven't been an issue, and not many are getting an election identification certificate at the DPS office or at the mobile stations either. And we've not had anyone come up to get an election identification certificate. Name discrepancies are not a large problem either. We have to look at what, what they call the totality of circumstances, and if it's similar and a date of birth matches and you know some other things match, then we're going to err on the side of the voter and they're going to get to vote. Lackey and Huntley agree that the proposed constitutional state amendment and the Amarillo Recreational Complex are controversial and are bringing people out to vote. Early voting is open through November 1st. More information about voting can be found on the Randall and Potter County websites. Lisa, back to you. Janice, thank you. Another start to the weekend. It's been